What's up, Guardians? I'm going to be showing you another build. Today, we are going to be looking at the Titan. So what we have here is we are going to be using the Lorely Splendor Helm with this build. What the Lorely Splendor Helm does is it creates a sunspot with improved solar restoration when critically wounded or on barricade cast. That's pretty important because when we cast our barricade, we also are going to proc this perk right here, Classy Restoration. Activating your solar class abilities grants you restoration. So as we can see here, what we're going to do is we're just going to be casting our barricade all the time. It's going to be giving us some of our ability energy back with those sunspots and also making us have that restoration on us as well. Let's take a quick peek at our subclass here. You can see we're using Rally Barricade just to get our faster reload off. It does come back a little bit faster than the full-size Towering Barricade. Um, you can read there what it does as well if you'd like to get more information on that. We're going to be using our Throwing Hammer just to proc uh, Radiant. I'll show you a little bit further down in the build here what Radiant does for your character. It's basically just a damage buff, but you can proc it just by throwing this hammer at the enemies. We also have Solar Grenade here. The reason we're going to be using that is just mainly just to get some more Scorch damage on the targets. More Scorch damage is going to tie into some of the fragments that we have down here as well that I'm going to show you that is just going to allow us to get our class ability back more because as we get our class ability back more, just means that we're going to have our restoration uptime a little bit longer. We're using Roaring Flames, Soul Invictus, give you a peek at my fragments here, Ember of Ashes, Ember of Solace, Ember of Torches, and Ember of Singeing. Ember of Singeing is probably the most important one. The other ones still matter, but Ember of Singeing is probably the most important perk on there because it's telling us our class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets. So that is what we're going to aim to do in this video here. I'm going to put up a little gameplay here at the end of the video and talk through it as you guys see it, just so you can see what this build is all about. Before we start, let me just give you guys a quick peek at everything that I have on my class here. Just so that way, if you wanted to copy it yourself, you could do it. We're just running Wither Horde, the same Callus Mini tool that we were running in our last build, which I will link right here for you guys if you wanted to check that out as well. That's a Hunter build though. And then just basically a lot of the solar stuff. So here we go, guys. Let's check out the gameplay. What I want you guys to look at here is the left side of the screen where it says restoration times two. What you'll notice is we have pretty much 100% uptime with that restoration times two. And that's the key factor with this build. Restoration times two is making you invulnerable to the enemies. It's not that you can't be killed. It's just that it's bringing your health back so fast that the enemies don't have the ability to kill you. So as I'm throwing down the shield here, that's what's given me that restoration times two. And then I can just lay into an enemy without worrying about a stomp mechanic killing me or something like that happening. Every now and then I might throw down a grenade to scorch an enemy. Right here you can see I was throwing a hammer at the boss to proc that radiant perk. You can see that on the left side of the screen there counting down. We do have restoration as well because we threw down our barricade as well. You guys absolutely killed it on the last video. Got me 100 subscribers within 24 hours. That is absolutely nuts, you guys. Let's see if on this video, if we can get up to, let's say 500 likes and way more subscribers than we did on the last one. That would absolutely kill it for my channel here. So I appreciate it, guys. We will see you in the next one and have a good day, Guardians.